So these days it's getting harder and harder to find good free software for beginning game developers. YouTubers these days are conflicting each other with different opinions and it can get really confusing for people who are new to the game dev. This video is hopefully gonna be the only video you need to choose the right software for making games. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by... Nah, who am I kidding? So let's start with the game engine to use. The game engine you should use depends on the type of games you wanna make. For simple low res 2D games, I recommend Game Maker Studio. It is easy to use and I recommend this for very small projects though. If you're looking to make 2D indie games, then I would recommend either Unity or Godot. So Godot is very fun to use and it is for both 2D and 3D. It is open source and it is completely free. It is used to make good indie games and it runs so fast. It takes only less than 60 megabytes. But I would recommend using Unity for people who wanna make 2D and 3D games. The problem with this engine is that it's not for beginners. It takes very long to set up and usually it takes up to more than a gigabyte. And sometimes you'll need to import so many packages from the Unity package manager and more. But that is just the price you have to pay for a really good solid engine. Overall, it's a really nice engine. However, it's gained a very bad re reputation over the years. One of the biggest rivals is Godot, which might pass Unity in the future. If you wanna make 3D AAA games, like, then Unity and Unreal Engine are your best bet, especially for Unreal Engine. Unreal gives you so many tools for your game and is used for many AAA titles, Fortnite included. For me, I personally use Godot, but it's usually just preference. So our next category is art. So for pixel art, the best software is a sprite or pixel edit. These make it easy to draw pixel art and has various tools to draw more efficiently. A sprite costs money though. So you can use Microsoft Paint as long as you're not doing animations. So if you're drawing normal 2D raster art, then Photoshop is your best bet. Raster art is basically art made out of pixels. It's just the normal art you see everywhere. Now, of course, Photoshop costs money. So a free alternative is Paint.net. Next, we have 3D modeling. Of course, the no-brainer answer to this is Blender. It is really powerful and you can model almost anything. If you're looking for an alternative to Blender, then you can use tinkercad for photo editing i use gimp especially for thumbnails which is a free alternative to photoshop if you can buy photoshop then it's even better now time for vector art vector art is basically art made out of simple shapes and mathematics it is usually used for graphic design and some games for this you can use adobe illustrator which you have to pay for but you can also use inkscape which is really good free software and it's also free now let's talk about other software as a bonus but isn't in any category you're probably wondering why i didn't mention music software i use use Ecret Music which automatically generates music for you on the genre you choose and it is free. And I use freesound.org for free sound effects cause I'm kinda lazy. So for video editing I use Filmora which is free but you have to pay for to remove the watermark. For notes I use Notepad and the default note app on my phone but I recommend using Notion. For screen recording I use Freecam 8 and for thumbnails I use GIMP. If you wanna make a game in Godot, click here. 